Hi, this is Mike from BirdKids. I'm here at NAMM with Analog Show, and I would like to show you a couple of new things today. As you can see, we have uh, by now have a full system, which is uh, ironic because we've been working on this system for a while now, but this is the first time we can show you a couple of those things. First of all, uh, there's a new line coming out. It's called the Bird's Nest. The Bird's Nest is going to be a series of modules that's going to help everybody kind of get rid of some problem zones in their rack. First of all, uh, we're going to incorporate a control bus system that allows you to uh, basically output four channels of CV of any kind, be it pitch CV, complex functions, or any type of gate and trigger via the four outputs in here and the additional uh, trigger and gate output right here. So you'll be able to basically convert any MIDI signal into a CV signal and uh, spread it all over the length of your rack to use uh, at any position, but also use the multiples as a standalone multiple as such. So you have both options, you can hardwire them inside or you can have them separate. Now the second, second thing I'd like to show you today is the ability to incorporate this entire section throughout your rack using some universal output modules. Now this here is uh, the first of its kind, uh, a universal input-output module that depending on the way you plug it into our distribution and mixing system will be either a distribution system or a mixing channel. So you can use it as a mixer or as an input insert into our special mixing and distribution bus. Now the mixing and distribution bus is actually built into the case. It's a PCB, a very thin PCB that can be built into any case. It comes in uh, lots of different sizes and lots of different options. And basically what it does, it gets rid of the old problem, how do I co incorporate internal mixing in studio quality? So what we've done is we've developed a way to actually mix internally using passive modules. Uh, this means, in so many words, you have a professional studio grade mixer in Eurorack. So there is no excuse for bad signal anymore. What you have is the ability to output to 6.3 millimeters or any format you like. Now the best thing about it, it's not necessarily just bird kits specific. Any manufacturer will be able to manufacture their own modules using passive methods or active methods to their choice so they can uh, develop, let's say, equalizers or reverb or compression systems or mixer bus systems. Anybody can work in this format. It's open source in a way. We will develop a scheme for uh, uh, any, any manufacturer on which they can basically have the perfect pinout for the module they like to build. Uh, so this is uh, the Bird's Nest system. It's gonna have lots of different passive modules, very affordable, very convenient. It's gonna get rid of the old system. It's done. Now, here we have a triple VCO. A triple VCO is a prototype. A triple VCO is gonna be a dual analog and a digital uh, uh, VCO. The dual analog is gonna stretch over eight octaves, maybe even more. And digital one, of course, unlimited, uh, operates on a wavetable functionality. But also, you have your, like your uh, vintage uh, square and uh, vintage sweep, noise sources, wave folding. You can use pretty much anything you like. Uh, there is an option that is going to be user upgradable, and uh, we're looking at late 2016 uh, until the entire software and firmware is developed well enough. As you know, we only ship stuff when it's really, really thought out and not, uh, not rushed into things. So the uh, next product we're going to release is going to be the One U Control Bus. It's going to be available in 104 HP and 84 HP. And of course, the internal distribution and mixing uh, platen. There's going to be a bunch of uh, small passive modules, small passive uh, uh, and active mixers as well. And you're going to be able to see all those things come out within the next couple of months. I'm pretty sure they are going to be available in the market by Superbooth. And uh, I'd love to see you there.